ICOT has put in place systems to basically steal money. New at six, lawmakers are calling for a criminal investigation into ECOT. This comes after a whistleblower claims he was told to make it look like attendance was higher at the school than it actually was. The higher attendance, the more money the school would get from the state. We asked ABC6's Ben Garbrick to find out what's next for the former online charter school. ECOT has been locked into a fight with the state over how to count its enrollment numbers for months. The Ohio Department of Education says ECOT overbilled the state, so it wants $80 million back. At the beginning, we thought it was just a record-keeping issue. Sandy Tice has been investigating ECOT for years for a progressive policy group. ECOT uh, is a chronically failing school. It has the worst four-year graduation rate in America, and they can't document their attendance. She talked with a whistleblower employee at ECOT for a year who told her the online charter school was using a software program to intentionally inflate its enrollment numbers. That takes this from record, pe record keeping problems, in my opinion, to criminal problems. ECOT closed during the middle of the school year after its sponsor pulled the plug. Now it's become a campaign issue with many people asking why more was done to investigate. We should be interviewing witnesses. We should be grabbing texts, emails, documents, records, software, everything uh, to try and find out if we can actually hold people accountable. State Auditor Dave Yost says he is auditing ECOT right now. He's also running for attorney general. His office sent me a statement saying his Democratic opponent in that race doesn't have all the facts. And just today, he received more statements from ECOT. The auditor's office says that report should be ready on May 1st. Ben, are there any criminal investigations on this right now? Well, not at this point. An attorney for ECOT says they've handed over all the data the state has been asking for. Franklin County Prosecutor Ron O'Brien says he has not been shown any evidence showing any criminal wrongdoing, but he is waiting to see that report from the auditor's office next week before he decides whether he needs to open a criminal investigation. Ben Garbrick reporting tonight from outside the former ECOT. Democratic State Senator Joe Schiavone and Board of Education member Stephanie Dodd say that taxpayers and students deserve an investigation. Schiavone and Dodd, who are running for governor and lieutenant governor, talked about what's next. If they were purposely manipulating the data to get a certain result, to get funds, taxpayer dollars, then, then that goes against, you know, that's just a violation of the law. Dodd has already taken two votes on the Board of Education to require ECOT to return.